Hello, I'm Ablaut and I'm doing a 50 day challenge in which I post at least six days out of the week something on SoundCloud um, that I've been making with VCV Rack that day. So yesterday I did post on SoundCloud but it was getting late and I didn't get around making a video. So I'm doing that this morning, Shanghai time. So what have we got today? I saw the Disquiet Junto project that this week is asking the question, what does it sound like when a robot has the blues? Of course, that made me think back immediately to the track I made last week for the ambient online forums, uh, image inspired there. And that track I called Obstacle Course Blues. So yesterday I tried making something new from scratch that would sound roboty, um, but it didn't really pan out the way I wanted to. So as it was getting later, I thought, well, I'll just go back to the patch I made last week and change that, take it from there, try to improve it, um, take it in a different way. So that's what I've done, and uh, as a result, we've got Robots Got the Blues. Okay, let's have a look at the actual patch. Um, I've clocked it a little slower than last week. Last week was 128 beats per minute, this time 108. I've, I'm still using the same sequencer, though I've changed some of the uh, the notes here and I'm using all four of the rows and the one I've added is here which is another set of what I've used before the three sets of the offset quantizer Bernoulli gate and resonator Okay, let's uh, let's have a listen to the new voice. Oh. Oh, oh, this is what I want. So it comes from this row of the sequencer. Goes through the same quantizer, although the patch is percussive, so tuning isn't as important. Although you can still hear some of the melody because the, uh, the strum here, the actual hits, don't always come at the same time as the melody at the voice per octave. But the Bernoulli gate uh, gives that lovely kind of irregularity. Uh, also, this is timed faster than the other voices, and uh, this is the 16th notes uh, and the beat goes into this main voice and then we have the eighths for the bass and the um, vibraphonish sounding voice. In a mix uh, the percussion is kind of low, uh, maybe I could have brought it out a bit more or add some automation but those are possibilities to need to take it further okay what else do we have uh, the bass So it's basically the same bass, uh, a bit more dampened, and then I've added this XFX tube module from Blamsoft, which they were kind enough to give me for free, it's normally a paid uh, module. So 
I can show it to you. Uh, this adds some lovely tube saturation, uh, a bit more bite to the base. But I've taken it down a notch in the mix because it was coming out quite uh, aggressively. Oh, I do love this bass. To imagine a robot having the blues would feel something like this. All right, the main voice. This also has a, a bit of percussiveness to it. And a lot of subtle melody. Finally, this vibraphonish sounding voice. I've dampened this a bit more as well. It doesn't ring out as long as in the patch I made last week. It's a bit more subtle, but I think it sits well in the mix. And this is all of it together. Let me know what you think of this version. I'm, uh, I'm actually happy with it. So I'm submitting this for the uh, Disquiet Junto challenge. And if you enjoyed it, please check back tomorrow. Or I should probably say later today if I get around to uh, finishing a patch today. like and subscribe and all that jazz and see you next time.